Hi students, in this lecture, we are going to learn about the properties of triangles. So the main aim of these properties of triangle is used to determine the relation between the sides and angles of given triangle, sides and angles of a given triangle. So means let consider a triangle over here. Now I am considering a triangle with vertices. I am representing the vertices as A, B, C. Let here the this is an angle A, angle B, and angle C. The side opposite to the angle A is represented with small a and the side opposite to the angle b is represented with small b the length of the side and the uh, side opposite to the angle c is represented with small c and which is the length of the side a b okay so now here we have in a triangle so three sides and three angles okay the sides are three so the lengths are we are assuming there's small a small b and small c and the angles are three capital a capital b and capital c are the angles totally we have six elements in a triangle the basic elements in a triangle so which is used to the relation between the sides and angles or determined with the help of these properties of triangle okay so while to determine the sides and angle with the unknown parameter finding the unknown elements from the six finding the unknown element with the help of the other elements okay finding the unknown element with the help of the other elements then that is called a solution of a triangle solution of a triangle and in this one we have a few notations one is the representation over here it is sides are represented with small letters and angles are represented with capital letters okay so now moving forward in this one the important properties we have to learn is the sign rule the sign rule here the sign rule is nothing but the statement is over here in a triangle abc a by sign a is equal to b by sin b is equal to c by sin c and that is equals to 2r where r is the circum radius consider a triangle abc and draw a circle passing through the vertices of triangle abc then the circle is called as circum circle circle is called as circum circle and the perpendicular bisector concurrence of the sides okay perpendicular bisector concurrence of the sides is called as the point is called as circumcenter the point is called as circumcenter okay it is denoted with s and the radius of this circle the circum circle radius of this circum circle is called as circum radius which is represented with capital R. Circum radius is represented with capital R. And what is the sign rule tells us? The ratio to the side and its opposite angle. Now, A is a side and its opposite angle is sin A. The ratio to the side and its opposite angle or in proportional. That means now the ratio to the side B and its opposite angle that means c what is b by sin b and again the ratio to the side and its opposite angle that means c by sin c these all are in same proportional and is equal to 2r where is the r is the circum radius okay and this can be analyzed the proof can be determined by considering a angle a in three cases angle b in three cases as well as angle c also in three cases now the first case is let consider the angle a is an acute angle angle a is acute angle so now 
angle a is an acute angle now consider draw a diameter passing through the center s from point c draw a diameter passing through the center s and uh, which is the point on the diameter another end is represented with capital d now c d is a diameter okay c d is a diameter so now if c d is a diameter then we can write it is as c s is equals to s d is equals to radius okay circum radius or now from this one we can write as c d is equals to two times of r and we know that and we know that the angle subtended by the diameter the angle subtended by the diameter that means the angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees okay the angle subtended by a diameter otherwise the angle in a semicircle now this is will become a semicircle over here the angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees now the angle b is equals to 90 degrees and we know that the angle d and angle a are in same segment we can make these two are equal okay angle b and angle a are in same segments these are in the same circle so now we can write these two angles are equal these two angles are equal angle d is equals to angle a now we can elaborate this is as angle b d c is equals to angle b a c why because these two are in same segment now consider a right angle triangle over here now what is the right angle triangle now in triangle right angle triangle b d c okay in right angle triangle b d c now apply the sign for angle d now we can write it is as sine d is equal to okay sine d is equals to opposite means b c by hypotenuse okay by hypotenuse is nothing but c d and we can write this is as sine d is equal to what it is b c is nothing but side a and c d is nothing but the diameter 2r and we know that whereas sine a if we apply the angle sine to the angle a we can write this is as sine a as sine b a c sin b a c which is nothing but sin b d c why because these two are in the same segment sin b d c now which is nothing but sin b d c is nothing but sin d okay so now sin d we obtained it is as a by 2 r okay from this one we can write it is as sin d is equals to sin d is nothing but sin a so now we can write sin a is equals to a by 2 or from this one we can write it as the ratio to the side and its opposite angle a by sin a is equal to 2 or which is the case for if a is an acute angle if a is an acute angle now moving forward the another case if a is a right angle if the second case is if angle a is a right angle we know that the angle subtended by a diameter otherwise the angle in a semicircle is a right angle now angle a the diagram will become the angle a is 90 degrees okay the angle a is 90 degrees so if this is 90 degrees okay if this is 90 degrees then we can write it is as so the length a is equals to b times of sorry bc okay the side bc is equals to length a and we can write bc is nothing but diameter bc is a diameter now which is equals to 2 r into 1 okay bc equals to 2 r then we can write 2 r into 1 and we can write 1 as sine 90 degrees okay sine as 1 what is one as sine 90 degrees and here we assumed as angle a is a right angle so that means angle a is 90 degrees now replace a with 90 degrees with a now a is equals to 2r from this one we can write as a by sine a is equal to 2r a by sine a is equal to 
to R. Okay, now moving forward, the case 3, A is an obtuse angle. Now the angle A is an obtuse angle. Okay, so that means greater than 90 degrees. The angle A will greater than 90 degrees and the circle, the triangle will be in the circle like this. Now draw a diameter from point C passing through the circumcenter S. Let it is point D. Now the diameter is subtending an angle H over here. This is B. Angle B is 90 degrees. Okay, angle B is 90 degrees. Whereas this CD is equals to 2R. Now it is forming ABCD is a okay. ABCD is a quadrilateral. Okay, ABCD is a quadrilateral. So from this one we can say that the opposite angles are 180 degrees. Now we can say that angle A plus angle D is equals to 180 degrees and we can write this is as angle D is equals to 180 degrees minus angle A. Okay, ABCD is forming a quadrilateral and we can say that angle A plus angle D is equals to 180 degrees. Then we can write angle D is equal to 180 minus A. Okay, now consider the triangle BDC. Okay, consider the triangle BDC. Okay, now we can write over here this is a sign. Okay, consider the triangle BDC sign D. Okay, now we can write this is as apply the sign to the angle D. Sign D is equals to opposite is nothing but BC by the hypotenuse is nothing but CD. And from this one, we can replace angle D is equals to 180 minus A, angle A, 180 minus angle A, and which is equals to BC is a length A, and CD is a diameter 2R. From this one, we can write sine of 180 minus theta is sine theta, then sine A is equals to a by 2R and from this one we can write as A by sin A is equals to 2R. Okay, A by sin A is equals to 2R. Okay, so now which is the sine rule. So sin that means side and its opposite angles are in same proportional. Then similarly we can prove for angle B and angle C also for angle B we can prove that B by sin B is equals to 2R and uh, for angle C we can prove that C by sin C is equals to 2R and these all are in same proportional finally we can say that the sin rule the sin rule is the angle and its opposite, sorry, the side and its opposite angle, side and its opposite angle, side and its opposite angle or in same proportional. This is the sine rule which is equals to two times of the, which is equals to two times of the circum radius.